So a big round of applause, please. And ma'am, if you would be kind enough to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. I never thought that this uh, golden, golden Jubilee would come so suddenly. There were two teachers came and we have Golden Jubilee of Edith Douglas School. I said, yes, I have to go. This is the stepping stone of Emanuela Harris Secondary School. And I am very, very proud, proud meaning for the school. And I would just like to say thank you to the living God today. Because of His grace, we are here. First of all, respected sir, um, name, sir name is not here, sir, sir, James. sir James, whatever you have said, 100% sure, and all the dignitaries, teachers, friends, everyone, I just like to welcome you all today and I'm very happy that I could be here. It's all because of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ that we can, I can stand here and witness. As Sir uh, was talking a little bit about the progress of the school and when Benjamin was telling about the school, I also was there for some time. And you see, I never taught an English medium school. But when we landed in Chilchur, suddenly my family from here in Lakipur called my husband, you have to come and help the family in Lakipur area. At that time I told my husband, see I cannot stay without working. I had a time of working in the Makunda leprosy colony as a nurse for seven years to serve the patient. And I never thought that I'll become a teacher. My education at that time only pre-university. And so then when I said, I, uh, we have to go to my village in Lakhipur, then I said, hey, it was very difficult for me because I was raised in the mission field, only with the missionaries. And during that time, there was no English medium school. I had my education from Ishabil, Ishabil that is in the Karimgans district. And even then I said, I told my husband, you have to search a job for me because I cannot stay without working. So then he told me that maybe there is an English medium school. I'll go and ask Dr. Uh, Pastor Eddie Devadas so that you can go and help there. So Pastor Eddie Devadas used to come to Christian Literature House. My husband was, from the very time of accepting the Lord Jesus Christ, his ministry was only with the literature. So Pastor also used to come and buy books. So when Pastor saw Eddie's father, Pastor Eddie Devadas, then he said, I am going to my village in Lakipur. Would you please give one job for my husband, uh, for my wife. Then he said, what is your wife? Then he said, she was a nurse. nurse and now she is working as a, a LDC in uh, North East India Baptist Bible College. I'm talking about my past and how God has worked. Okay, at the time my two daughters were there. Ruth was only 11 months, I think. Oh, no, Hazel was 11 months. And would you please send them, Ruth is my elder daughter, whether you all know or not, she was only at that time, I think, two years or something like that. And many of my students are also here. So with these two daughters, then when my husband, uh, my husband approached to Pastor Devadas, would you please give a job to my wife, because we are going to move to village. And this was the only English medium school. So then pastor said, what is her qualification? 
Then he said, she is a nurse. Then he said, how a nurse can teach an English medium school? Then my husband told, at least he learned English from the missionaries. Because I grew up serving the leprosy patient for seven years. And I never thought that I'll become a teacher also. But God knew that he is going to start something. So that was the stepping stone. Stepping stone. The first English medium in, in uh, Edith Douglas School. And as <coughs> Benjamin was giving report, then at the time so many of my students, ex-students are here. Even Benjamin was there at class four, I think. And Abby is already with Lord. He was in class six or seven. And my son in law Manidon was also there in class four, I think, at that time. So many of them, and uh, Sar, my teacher now, in uh, Bailapur, Loyamba, would you please stand up? Loyamba was in KG1 at that time. He and his sister, yes. And some of the uh, teachers, those who are working in different places, like Jenny, Muni, they were the orphans here. And how Sar, Pastor and Madam, as he said, we used to call Appa and Amma. I actually did not know their full name also. Only I used to call Appa and Amma. They're just like families. Anyway, then they felt sorry for my husband. I think, okay, we will give your, we will give your wife a job. That was, that was a, like, what is it? Again, stepping stone. God was preparing. God is preparing wonderful things. I will never forget, in 1979, we arrived in Lakhipur. 79, August 30, I joined Edith Douglas School, 1979, September 1st. And God was preparing me for seven years. They were so good. They said, Madam, you need to upgrade yourself. So you go and study. So I did my own private education because to become a headmaster or headmistress, at least you need BA certificate. So teaching the students, and I used to go and run and give privately, uh, the, like for my examination and all. And the time that AB, uh, not AB is already with the Lord, whatever Ben Benjamin has said, the time that went through financially, everything I know. And I used to translate for them a little bit of Mar and Mizo, I know. That's why they used to ask me to help in translation of many things. So it was a, like a training center for me to work with them for seven years. Because in our time, there was no English medium school, only Bengali or Manipuri. But my education in English was by the missionaries of uh, America. So I had a chance to learn English. So like that, my husband approached and I am very thankful to God. They're just like my family is. How they all grew up together, passing through all those difficult times. And as you were talking about that, I knew those. And one of the good, good I should not say, the thing that how they trusted the Lord. I used to some, sometimes wonder how they sacrificed. And when my children were small, how they loved them, I will never forget. They are the one who taught me. At the completion of seven years working in Edith Douglas School, my father had a vision to start. He said now, Edith Douglas School has only up to class seven, huh? then. And then he said, we need to start, because my father is an educationist, so he said, we need to upgrade to help because our children were so we had to send to Silchar after class 7. So we need to start at this high, uh, up to high school. So in 1987, after serving here seven years, I, we moved to Pailapur to start Emmanuel in this school at the time. And by the grace of God, and this was, the Adi Dokla school was like my uh, training center. And both 